Left wingers of Reddit, what is your most right wing opinion? Right wingers, what is your most left wing opinion? My most left wing opinion has to do with prison conditions. I oppose private prisons and support better conditions for prisoners. Prison should be a punishment, but prisoners don't lose their human dignity no matter what they did. They deserve a minimum standard of treatment and from a pragmatic standpoint, it makes things both safer for the guards and other prisoners. If having TV keeps them from killing each other, I'm all for it. I especially despise the seeming tolerance of prison re by some, and how some people even approve of it and act as if it is part of the punishment of being in prison. Right wing a military and war take up too much federal spending, and we should focus on peacemaking and cooperation with other countries. This proves that there are many things everyone can come together to agree on but the government media forces people against each other, makes everyone choose a team and hate the other side, and while the pawns are fighting they can take what they want. Welcome to the two party system. Conservative by nature, but I believe in the right to collective bargaining. Organized labor is a double edged sword, but people should be able to negotiate wages and conditions as a group. Collective labor to me is a natural development of the free market. Just as a company specializes in a product so do the people with their labor and they are free to set a price point as a company does with their product. If a company wants to advertise their product and trash their competition, so can labor groups when dealing with a company. I never got why people are against labor unions in general. I would much rather negotiate with market leverage than individually just as I would prefer to go buy a Pepsi instead of making my own. I'm personally a middle of the road moderate, but I identify more with the right. My most left leaning opinion is probably, no one should have to go bankrupt or f i n e die trying to get their meds and medical care. It actually upsets me that this is considered a political issue and not simple human rights. The argument that I hear against it over and over is I work hard for my money. I made sure I made the right choices in life to where I can pay for myself and my family to go to the doctor and have the means to still be stable in a medical crisis situation. Why should my money be stolen from me and given to people who didn't bother to make those same decisions all of recklessly? It's a very f u. I got my mentality. Right winger mostly. The idea that police can break into your home wearing civilian clothes is a travesty, makes a mockery of the Bill of Rights, and civil asset forfeiture is theft, like actual literal theft. The idea of no knock raids or knock, wait 10 seconds, and enter rate still blows my mind in a country with a second amendment, like talk about just asking for or fulch to happen, but if we wait longer than that, they could be flushing the drugs down the toilet, if the quantity they had was small enough to be destroyed that quickly. You shouldn't be raiding their house in the first place. Civil asset forfeiture is also against the Fifth Amendment, and probably another, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property, without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use, without just compensation. Somehow they managed to convince themselves that money is not property of the person holding it because a government made it. Right winger, pollution is theft. It is odd to me that water running from your yard that fs up a neighbor's house is your liability, but millions of tons of pollution from your factory isn't. Toddlers know that they need to clean up after themselves. Centrist conservative. The fact that there's any debate about climate change is insane. Scientists weren't lying about the ozone layer, about the polio vaccine, etc. The mistrust is bonkers. Sometimes I think we'd be better off giving climate change a rebrand and calling it war on pollution because even if climate change wasn't occurring pollution still is. And why wouldn't anyone argue against clean, renewable, cheaper energy that cleans up the air, rivers, and planet? I think products from China should be regulated, like, the Chinese government needs to care about regulations. Because currently, a company from China could sell a knockoff motorcycle helmet for cheap. and claim it meets safety regulations without any issue. A consumer could then buy the cheapest motorcycle helmet on Amazon or whatever, and get hurt. What happens then? That's just an example from the hip though. This is really interesting. I work with many Chinese factories and it's my job to make sure products are safe for the UK and EU markets. I mostly work with kitchenware and ceramics. However if it was originally developed for the US market then I don't consider it acceptable to sell in the UK or EU. For whatever reason us retailers and regulators seem to not give a sh. The quality of materials and plastics is different too. 
you have to specifically ask the Chinese factories to use the better quality materials for the EU market. For example you get two grades of silicone. For example, silicone bakeware, LFGB standard which is legal for the EU UK and FDA grade which cannot pass the food contact testing required over here. Other things, many US companies have no ethical auditing requirements. So you can't even guarantee that there's no children working in the factories. The standards for quality ethics in the US are shockingly low. The quality of products from China is entirely dependent on the purchaser importer in the US has far fewer regulations because of its devotion to corporations and capitalism. That being said, if you buy a piece of safety equipment from Alibaba or some Chinese Amazon seller, then I'm not sure what you expect. Left winger, no supposedly democratic nation has any business ever doing business with a totalitarian government. China doesn't need regulated, it needs to be frozen out by the free world. This post is doing more to bring America together than our politicians. This one, OP is brilliant in bringing us together here. I've read through this whole post and it's been civil, refreshing, open-minded and informative. Right winger. The coal and mining industry should not be subsidized or saved an investment in wind and solar isn't a bad idea. Cannot stand peeps who claim to stand for deregulation and market dictated investment simultaneously defend government bailouts for sectors whose companies have openly expressed their desire to transition to alternative technologies. The cherry on top is conservative government's part is then selling what is essentially a workers' rights movement for a re-election strategy while also working against unions that by definition further this cause. It's a shambles, honestly. Reading through these comments has totally strengthened my opinion that the two-party system is mega broken. Conservative liberal, no one should be happy with a black and white, ditch atomic tantrum our government has become. Real life isn't that simple and anyone. Red or blue, selling you that lie is trying to pull something on you. F parties, but two parties are so much easier to own. Somebody please think about the corporations. Left wing, one misguided tweet from 7 years ago should not get you fired from an unrelated job today. I agree with this, I regularly read through YouTube comment sections to delete the comments I made as an 11 year old. I dread the day a boss of mine finds one. I also deleted my old Reddit account. Because I used to have some pretty bad opinions on stuff, that I do not agree with anymore at all. And the account was literally my own name. I'd posted so much stuff that I just decided, F it, purge the whole thing. I'm with this one. I'm always remembering what happened with NBA player Tim Hardaway. Notoriously homophobic. It came out that he said he'd beat up any teammate he found out was a ref T. He got in trouble for that. Went and learned from the alphabet community about who we are and what we actually go through and now is a big public ally. I honestly don't believe he'd have that opportunity for education and redemption now. And I believe that is a sad thing. Lefty. Some cultures are really, really effing backwards and need to be fearlessly called out on their sh extreme Islamic and Middle Eastern countries. This is coming from an ex-Muslim. Extreme religion nuts. From anywhere really. Left wing. And I personally believe that cancel culture shouldn't apply to think people did when they were younger. If you were a racist when you were 19, and have moved on, and acknowledged that you used to be stupid, then you're fine, so long as you're not a prick anymore. I posted this on another comment, but this applies to me. I was partially raised by my very racist grandmother. Around the age of 12 I spout out tons of horrible things about other races. I was 14 when I began to really think about why I thought the things I did and how my beliefs could be wrong. In high school I began spending time on the internet more and learned how wrong I was about other races. I cringe now when I think about the jokes I made and the things I argued. People can learn the errors of their ways and adjust their behavior accordingly. I wasn't a horrible person back then. I was just a dumb kid who'd been fed lies by my family and wanted to fit in with the other dumb kids who were just as mislead as I was. It's sad to see that people are losing their ability to forgive. Left winger here. As a Filipino from the Philippines, I think people policing culture appropriation is effing dumb. Especially when they are American, not necessarily white. Also kinda peeved with the whole Philippines thing. It's dumb. Especially when our language's pronouns are gender neutral. Yes, liberal here. It drives me crazy when people take this too far. I got super annoyed the other day when reading reviews about this gadget that helps you make dumplings. 
One reviewer accused the company and those buying their product of Asian cultural appropriation, and I was like good god, can't I just eat a delicious pork dumpling without being called an imperialist racist, like, the end result of that sort of thinking is pushing every non-white culture into local folklore and making white culture the only universal thing, that sounds like a white supremacist dream. What kind of f head do you have to be to go to, say, a kimono maker in Japan and say look, I made your life better, I made sure no one but Japanese people would ever buy your product, isn't that great? This has been the most pleasant politically related experience I've personally ever had on Reddit and I just want to thank OP and everyone here for being so civil and reasonable, a big part of me would love for this sub here, to be what I'd imagine our politics should could be, maybe one day. Right winger here, no one should have to go bankrupt for getting sick or injured. In most other countries healthcare isn't seen as left or right wing. I'm from the UK. I would say that whilst the NHS isn't seen as a left or right wing thing, these kind of socialized healthcare systems are often proposed by the left and maintained better under a left leaning government. When conservative governments are in power here they tend to do more damage to the NHS than our left leaning party does. That being said both our main parties are awful at looking after the NHS. It's just one is worse than the other. The people in general, on all sides of the political spectrum, absolutely love the NHS and as a nation we're incredibly proud of our national healthcare system. So do you support government funded healthcare or massive deregulation? Right winger here. I think way too many of us right wingers don't believe in global warming and I don't know why. I've always attributed this to oil gas contributing so much to the Republican Party and the propaganda just flows along. On the other hand democratic leadership seems more than okay with methane gas fuel so, yay, money makes things a mess. Chemist here just would like to say that while I agree methane is not a great fuel source, it is still a better option than a lot of the other fossil fuels out there, and it is better to burn methane to turn it into carbon dioxide than to have it in our atmosphere as methane. This is because methane itself is way better at trapping heat in our atmosphere than carbon dioxide is. So even though we hear a lot about CO2 levels rising we don't want those to continue to rise. There are things that are actually worse than CO2. Since so much of our system is built on burning fuels and it is going to take a while to change that. It is ultimately better to burn something terrible and turn it into something less terrible, in a 1, 1 ratio, than to take something that was buried for millions of years and turn it into multiple terrible things, CO2, NOx, particulates, etc, if that makes sense. Right wing I'm not against gay marriage I don't really see it as any of my business. I support the decriminalization of all drugs and that usage and addiction should be treated as public health issues and not a crime and the release of inmates with non-violent possession convictions. No one should be in jail for possession and no one should go to jail for possession. I am also generally uncomfortable with private prisons and would like to see prison as more rehabilitative than whatever we'd like to pretend they are now. I agree with a ton of this stuff, and honestly just wondering what part of right wing do you agree with to call yourself right wing? Sorry if that sounded rude not sure how to put it. Right winger. Legalize weed already. Legalize that shit tax the f out of it. Use the money to rebuild our infrastructure and school systems. Left winger. I think we have started to expect an unreasonable level of moral purity from people. And our attempts to make everything PC is akin to the war on drugs in that it does far more hurt than good. Nuance has also been lost. And many on the left have resorted to black and white thinking. Calling people out or cancelling them doesn't help anyone. And I can't think of anything more dreary than a fully sanitized world. Cancelling people used to be a way to hold powerful people accountable for hurting relatively powerless people. I don't know when it turned into not allowing average people to grow and learn from their mistakes. We really lost sight of the point over the past few years. Left winger here. And I'm on board with the basic philosophical idea that some people, think Ted Bundy and the like are so irredeemably evil that they truly deserve to die. I just oppose the death penalty for logistical reasons, because it's impossible for any kind of institution to have it without abusing it. To identify and apply it to those truly deserving people without killing a lot more innocent people along the way, especially minorities. I have zero interest in claiming some moral high ground about how every life, even serial killers and such, is worth saving. I just don't think the system overall is worth the collateral damage. 
generally lean right, but I will maintain my stance that healthcare and education should be tax funded. I'm a conservative. Most people on my side of the aisle act like they want small government and less control of their rights. So I've never understood why they are so against police reform measures. Yes we obviously need police to an extent but why the hell do they need so much power? If they weren't out there with the ability to engage with any person by force over any small perceived violation of some city ordinance then many situations that turn bad wouldn't come to pass. For example if my tags are expired. This is an administrative issue that could be dealt with in an office, but now a dude with a gun is standing outside my window actively looking for a reason to arrest me for something else. Even if I have no other issues during that stop it was still escalated by being detained by an armed dude present. Traffic police could be a thing. They stop you. Ticket you for the violation noted. Don't look for traffic unrelated violations. Aren't armed. Send you on your way. Real armed cops can be sent to known or potentially dangerous situations as a result of a call or a warrant. Being frugal, fiscally conservative, used to be a conservative ideal. If the right went that direction again, I might listen. Tax cuts sound great as long as budget cuts come along with it. This is absolutely not happening right now. Pretty libertarian, but if there's one thing that needs to be 100% government funded, it's education. That's the number one thing that will give people social mobility. Lefty here. I own tons of guns. Conservative. Anti-vaxxers are effing stupid. I'm pretty far left. I think nuclear power is fine. I honestly don't understand why so many liberals are against it. Chernobyl was 100% human error. Next worse incident. Fukushima which has one death attributed to it and 16 injuries. Left winger here. I don't think the economy of any nation can support unlimited immigration. As a left winger, I think political correctness is total BS. Why is it okay to cancel a white person on Twitter for having said the N word 5 years ago? But if a religious minority actively promotes hate, that's suddenly okay because they marginalize themselves? Minority or not, everyone should be held to the same standards, and those standards should always be subject to open discussion. Cancel culture is not a solution. Right wing conservative here. People should have agency over their bodies. Taking drugs shouldn't be illegal. Getting an abortion isn't the government's business, etc. Left winger here. I believe you can joke about anything. As long as it's made in good fun. Not made with the overt intent to cause pain to other people. You can joke about literally any subject no matter how traumatic, evil, or disgusting it may be. Now. I'm not saying jokes should be a complete free for all, there can be a wrong place or time for one, but it's just not realistic or satisfying to say you can never joke about something. I wish I were intelligent enough to answer this question, who the f has ever told you politics has anything to do with being smart? Left wing, political correctness going too far is the sole reason in my opinion as to why Trump got elected.